30 Minute Wood Shop. Thanks for joining. Today, I want to show you how to take this barrel stave and make really cool whiskey coasters. So, a couple things first. Uh, there's links at the bottom, matter of fact, I'll link to, uh, to a place to buy these at Skull Creek Designs. Give Travis a call down there uh, and he'll set you up. One thing you have to make sure when you buy these, you get the wide ones. And you want the wide ones that are four and a half inches, all right? At least four, absolute minimum four. It's about four and a half inches to five and a half inches wide. We're putting a 90 millimeter or three and a half inch depression in these things. So you want to have at least enough out there at the edge to, if you don't quite exactly center it, right, it'll still be okay. All right, so keep that in mind. Four minimum, four and a half to five and a half is really what you want. So make sure you get those. All right, second thing, links to the bottom of some of the tools I use. Do me a favor, by the way, hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. You can do that right now. Um, but those links uh, take you to some tools and things that I'm using. Uh, my blog with a sketch for this. Now, when you see the sketch, it doesn't show the curvature. I'm not that advanced at doing uh, SketchUp, and I, don't, I get the cheap version, so you don't have all the really cool curves in here. But all that said, still, it's fairly accurate. Gives you the size, gives you the whole compression and all that kind of thing. Great little starting point. Okay, now, next thing is we got to prep this piece of material. If you've never used uh, whiskey barrel staves, the inside is covered in char. First thing you got to do is get rid of the char. So you got to take a, a, a heavy wear brush and brush all the char off. Then blow it off with a uh, air hose and then go ahead and hit it with a, at least one coat of a good polyurethane. Okay, what you want to do is you want to get this stuff sealed so when you get it to the shop and you touch it, it doesn't get all over, all over your hands and all over the shop too, by the way. So if you've never done that before, you can check out my whiskey and beer butler video, all right, and that's going to be right up here, all right, check that out, first part of that. You can breeze through that real quick, and it shows you how to do that if there's any confusion. Okay? Next, what you want to do is cut it. All right? Same video kind of shows you how to cut it. Uh, basically, all we're going to do is cut this into square pieces. You want squares because it makes it easier to find the center, for starters. You also kind of look generally what you want is a square coaster. Um, if you want something different, obviously, go ahead and do that. But uh, we'll take it over to the sauce, chop it up, and uh, then we'll get on to putting the depressions in on the drill press. So keep watching and let's get moving. All right, we're at the drill press. I have my uh, piece of barrel stave here chucked up and, and blocked so it doesn't rotate or twist on me. I have a 90 millimeter bit in here in my drill press. Now, I hate to say, folks, even if you only get a 9 or 10 inch drill press, a small one, you don't get the 15 or 16 or 18 or whatever the heck, a drill press is, is critical to doing really decent work and doing fast work. You don't want to try and use one of these bits by hand. Good chance it's going to rip it right out of your uh, right out of your hand. And the other thing is it could injure you pretty badly. So so anyway, chucked up, centered. All I did is find the center of this, ready to drop the uh, drop the pin on the center, and we're ready to start making some noise. So let's do that. Beautiful curls off this uh, coarser bit, and oh my gosh, they smell good. They smell like whiskey. Oh, what a great smell. Anyway, so I dropped a hole in here, a depression in here, uh, 3 16 to a quarter inch. The reason being is I'm putting a 16 inch uh, thick uh, cork pad in here. So these babies are ready for finishing. All I want to do is uh, put a finish on them and then hit them with a coat or two of varnish just to seal them up. And then once that's done, they're ready to go. Okay, we're down to the final finish on these barrel stave coasters. I'm using a dark walnut minwax stain. Quite frankly, I'm down to the dregs of it. I'm going to need some more quickly. But basically, I like the minwax, this minwax stain because it really gives the wood a uh, antique character. And especially, it's really what I'm looking for here with this... Uh, with this uh, barrel stave, because these barrels are 
Uh, okay, these barrels not, are not necessarily old, generally, because they, you know, 10, 15 years sometimes. Uh, they're only used once. Uh, they're actually older than that because they, there's four or five years that they uh, sit around and uh, whiskey them. But, uh, but the result is that you get this really nice, old, antique look, and that's kind of the look I'm looking for. You can kind of see how that works out. And it doesn't take a lot of this, this finish or this stain. And what I'm looking for here is, if you can see this, I'm looking for that variation between dark and light. Okay? And the reason is that's the way the barrel actually looks. Um, all I've done to these is I sanded off most of the dirt. And in sanding off the dirt, in some cases you're left with the, uh, the raw white oak. And in other cases, you're still left with the uh, rust, the paint, and whatever else they use on the barrels because uh, they tag these barrels all kinds of ways. But it's all part of the history of the barrel. And so you get that read through, even though it's nice and dark, you still get that read through, like here, where the actual barrel band was. You can, you can see where the barrel band went across here. So, so every barrel every barrel state tells the story of where the barrel's been, how it's been treated, how long it survived, and oh, without the uh, finish on it, you can smell the whiskey too. But hey, so all we got to do now is wait a few minutes, we'll wipe these things off, and uh, these are going to be perfect. Well, I add a couple coats of uh, polyurethane on top of these. Uh, just to give them a final leg of protection, and then we'll uh, do a few more final steps, and we'll be ready to start putting drinks in these things. Be back in a little bit. Okay, you saw how we put the put the depressions in these things. Very easy. You saw how I put on the, the finish. Real simple. Uh, like I said, I like the darker finish myself. Three coats of polyurethane on these because we know it's going to probably get a little wet. You notice I checked them for. Squareness, they all sit flush and flat. If they don't, what you want to do is take off the high corner, all right? The two opposite high corners. Just take them off a little bit, put them on some sandpaper or a file, take those things down, sit perfectly flush. Uh, next thing is I'm putting in, now these are all set, all right? Finishes on everything. I'm putting on these, these uh, 90 millimeter uh, cork coasters, maybe just 16 inch thick. And all, we, all you have to do with these things, peel the back, lay them in, and they fit perfectly. And you get a really, really nice coaster. So, that, my friends, is all there is to this. Drop these things in, peel the back, drop them in, and there you got it. Really nice coasters. So these are going to be Christmas gifts for some friends of mine. We'll pass them out at, uh, at my Christmas party. But, uh, but hey, there you go. Check those links out at the bottom. Uh, see, what, explore those, see what kind of tools I use. Uh, check out the materials. There will be a link to uh, both Skull Creek Design, who can provide the uh, barrel material, and a link to the uh, coaster material if you want to do this. There will also be a link to the 90, mil 90 millimeter bit. It is a Chinese bit. I don't usually buy Chinese, but Gotta say, guys, for 11 bucks, I can't beat the price. So, go ahead and check that out. And uh, while you're down there, like I said, hit like and subscribe. If you got anything out of this, I'd appreciate that. Do me a favor, leave a comment, too. Uh, and on that note, until next time, folks, hey, good making.